How's it going, YouTube? I did it again. And, yeah. Trying to figure out how to break the news to you, but I know I'm predominantly a truck content type channel, but I kind of couldn't help myself. I don't know. I'm about to say, well, I didn't buy it. I actually, I traded. I traded for it in my defense. And, um, well, I guess. Let's just, let's go check it out. So, I had a 2002 Bluebird bus. You guys used to see it right over there where that semi-truck is sitting. And I put it on Facebook Marketplace. Well, I think the cat's already out of the bag, but we'll go on. And this guy messages me and he has this car. And it's a 1975 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. Yes, I got a Corvette. What the hell was I thinking? Let's check it out. It's got the factory wheels on it. All four center caps, speedy rings, hub caps. It's got automatic, three speed. Underneath the bonnet. Under here. It's got a 350 Chevy small block. Nothing special, nothing spectacular. Aluminum high rise Elderbrock carburetor. Yes, yes, I know. They're stuck up. They don't go down. The the motor, the servos are broke. Um, yeah, I branded it. Um, so I got this car today. Um, and it's, it's all right. So it's been rear-ended. Let's see, it's there and then there. Um, the fiberglass looks in okay shape. So I think I can fix it, maybe. I don't know. And I took this car in on trade, sight unseen. Now, hear me out. So the gentleman that messaged me with this car wanted my bus so that he could essentially convert it and move into it with his family. I don't know, the guy lived on a dirt road and looking at the car, you can tell it's sandblasted on the quarter panels and whatnot. So yeah, you could tell that he lived on dirt road. Um, he bought the car supposedly two years ago. We're not gonna tell you how much you paid for it. Um, I traded him because his house burned down and he needed a place for him and his family to stay in because they'd been staying in a motel. Um, do I believe that my bus was worth more than the Corvette? Yeah. Do I believe that the Corvette was worth more than my bus? No. Am I happy with the Corvette? Yeah, um, I don't know, maybe. I don't know. It's, I drove it. The wife hates it. The thing drives absolutely, absolutely freaking horrible. But, hey, it's a poor day. It's, yeah, I'm riding in the chair, the seat's going down the road. You know, it's about like riding on a couple pieces of plywood with some cardboard on. That's fine.
Do I really feel like I got tipped? No, not at all. I mean, it is a Corvette. It's like one of the most iconic. Did I mention iconic? American-made sports cars in the history of the U.S. I mean, it's, it's a Corvette. It's Ring. 1975. It is nothing to write home about, but I don't know what I'm going to call it. I kind of feel in the condition that the car came from Living on a farm, off a dirt road, somewhere north of here, about 300 miles or so, give or take. Maybe northwest, I don't know. If Bicycle Garage watches this, I'll sell it to you. I don't know, I might keep it, maybe. got enough projects already I really wasn't trying to take on another project but it kind of looks like I have another project and we're getting ready to move so street truck and 785 we're relocating to greener pastures I might have better luck in another part of a region of the country selling it if I'm going to sell it. Um, I think I'm going to dub it the Rescue Corvette. Because I do kind of feel like I rescued it. Not saying anything bad about the guy that brought it. He's a hell of a good guy. Um, I gave him a little cash cover his gas to bring it down here I'm okay with that I'm fine no not really but it'll be all right I had it he needed to help I'm okay with that that's perfectly fine um, yeah so I now have a 1975 Plain Jane Corvette Stingray. It's nothing special, no power windows, no power locks. It does, however, have air conditioning that supposedly works. I haven't tried it yet, but that's doing better than Mama Suburban. So that's a win. I have time this time around to do any content on actually do anything with the car other than I drove it I'll throw in a video clip driving it With the top off, yeah, I'll never do that again. It's nice for cruising around town, but yeah, we're not gonna, have, we will never get on the highway in that thing with the T tops off ever again. Ever, never, nope. That was the worst possible driving experience I could have ever had in my entire life. My beard was in my face. Yeah, we won't do that no more. But I got in it. I drove it, you know. Got it out on the highway. Stretched its legs. She's got good power. She runs really good. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. It's just a matter of digging and diving into it. I'm, I've am i never owned a Corvette before in my entire life. And I uh, have never worked on one. 
other than I did body work on one and I'll insert a picture of the one I did here. And you guys can check that one out. And it was newer, it was like an 81. But same basic concept, few subtle differences. I like the car, I don't like the car. I want to keep it, but I don't want to keep it. I already have Midlife Crisis Project. It's been in the body shop. So if you want to see more um, Corvette content, come to the channel. Um, drop a comment down there, seriously, and let me know. Give this video a big thumbs up and uh, push that subscribe button, ring that bell, and you'll get notifications. Anytime I upload anything about, at this point in time, it could be anything. Um, super cool to have you guys watching. And uh, stay tuned because there may or may not be more coming on this 1975 Green Puff Stingray sitting in my driveway. Not really. Yeah.